Hi, we're Georgia Led, Jerusalem, Antonia, and Brandon, and we're going to talk about gold nanoparticle sensors for detection of heavy metals in water. Noble metal nanoparticles, made of silver and gold, among others, have unique physical, chemical, and optical properties that can be used for sensors. In particular, gold nanoparticles can be used as optical sensor due to its localized surface plasma resonance, also known as LSPR which can be measured in the visible and infrared spectrum. When gold nanoparticles are exposed to light, the oscillation of the EM produces resonant oscillation of the free electrons of the metal. The intensity and wavelength observed depends on the metal, the particle size, shape, structure, composition, and medium. These nanoparticles are suitable for colorimetric assays based on naked eye detection. Some advantages of this kind of detection are that it is instrument-free, simple, sensitive, selective, portable, and fast. Silva, Degollos, and others reported a biosynthesis of gold nanoparticles using different amounts of citrus para disease extract, also known as grapefruit. The color change of the solution to dark purple indicated the gold nanoparticles were emission after one hour, and the characterization was made by UVV spectroscopy and TM analysis. These nanoparticles with triangular, hexagonal, and spherical shapes are studied for their applications as plasma resonance sensors for mercury, calcium, and zinc species, and fluorescent sensors for calcium, copper, and lead moieties existing in water. This follows a biosynthetic process, in which electrostatic and ionic interactions between metal complexes and functional groups occur. The triangular shape happens by a reduction process when large amount of naringin, a biomolecule, is added. The materials are shown on the screen. The grapefruit was washed, peeled, cut, weighted, and boiled for 20 minutes in ionized water. The infusion was filtered and the extract stored at room temperature. As mentioned before, the gold nanoparticles were characterized by UVB spectroscopy at a wavelength range from 540 to 544 nanometers. As the reaction time advances, the intensity observed increases due to a greater number of nanoparticles formed, the same as their aggregation. The change happens due to the excitation of surface plasma vibration and the width and shift are associated to the shape and size. It was also observed that in greater concentration of reducing agent, the intensity is weakened due to a larger size of the nanoparticles, which make plasma oscillations to optically couple due to proximity. Additionally, size distribution was characterized using the TEM where drops of the reaction mixture were placed over a carbon core fluid and evaporated. Finally, infrared spectroscopy was performed trying to sample the room temperature for 48 hours. For sensing an aliquot of 1 ml of 10 to the power of minus 3 molar of aqueous solution of different metals were added to 1 ml of the gold nanoparticle suspension and room temperature. The addition of magnesium, mercury, strontium, lead, calcium, copper, and zinc ions to the system causes a moderate color change from the original solution. The color change goes from purple to light purple, enough to differentiate between the metallic ion tested by naked eye inspection. The addition of the metal ions to the gold nanoparticle suspensions result in a light bathochromic shift in the SPR band. The extent of the shift depends on the concentration of ions in solution or the type of aggregate that are formed with each metal ion. The solution show greater selectivity towards lead, calcium, and copper ions as tested using UVB's fluorescence spectroscopies. This colorimetric sensor can be used in the detection of heavy metals in water. Water contamination has been one of the most serious environmental problems of today.